everybody. This is Mr. Nita. I am live for the Brianna Bling Show. I apologize. I'm running a little late. I'm going to get my little light here. Um, let me get situated where I can see. And we are, there we go. We got a little light. There we go. Let me tone it down a little bit. Okay, so I do apologize. Um, when you're a person that you're trying to get your show together, you get a little behind so i do apologize i had to um move some things around and i'm still not um somewhat organized here just got off a zoom call so uh that kind of took me so i'm gonna go ahead and now invite my instagram family hope everyone is doing fine and well let me try to put this little buzzer down um, i'm excited about tonight um, we are now in March, and so we're doing what we call um, a March Madness. And so I have a goal that I am going to try to reach for this month. Excuse me, let me try to find. I hope this is not going to bother me all night. Um, I do have a goal that I am trying to reach for this week. So I am. my goal is to sell 100 pieces for my business. Um, I ha have a couple of organizations that I do want to... Uh, be a blessing to for this upcoming uh, summer. There's some children organizations that I do want to sponsor. And there's just some goals that we are trying to, Brianna Bling Jewels is trying to accomplish uh, for 2022. So let me go ahead and invite my Instagram family in here. And then we will be on the road. I am just so excited. The weather is getting a little bit better. So praise God. Um, it was very warm out, a little cold, or maybe I sh should use the word cool. And so I'm glad that um, God has been gracious enough to allow us to see uh, some sunny days and the snow is going to be dissipating. So um, tonight I have sort of like a uh, burgundy color. So what I probably will do tonight is to, I love doing styling. I, I really do. Um, and so I probably will take one of the, um, fashion fix for, um, tonight and let you, let you see how I'm going to use this beautiful burgundy. It's like a tunic and, um, how you can kind of style. So again, my name is Miss Anita. I'm the CEO and accessory consultant of Brianna Bling Jewels. I appreciate anybody that stops in if you do not see that red light that means you are watching the replay and so i've been in this business almost three years in october i've had a fabulous journey in selling this fabulous beautiful jewelry um and so i have just really enjoyed uh being an entrepreneur i've enjoyed the people that i've met so far i've enjoyed the journey of learning how to market now that we're in this season of you know social distancing and still trying to be safe in how we handle um our products and our customers and so that journey has been quite interesting i've had to pivot my business to go to various um platforms like i'm doing tonight in youtube and i'm on instagram tonight and so i have to just like any business you know you see I won't mention any any top brand company out there. They have to pivot and use different modes of how to get their product to their consumer. And so as a small business owner, that's basically what I've had to do. It's been quite interesting. Um, I've learned a lot about social media and how to actually, um, you know, attract different, you know, clientele based on times of days, certain hours and so forth. And so I'm just excited that I, I chose nine o'clock on Mondays and Tuesdays of days of the week that work best for me. Now I will expand when summer gets here or maybe even in April. Um, you know, just because I know people are probably going to be taking spring break and traveling and Easter is around the corner then mother's day is in May. And so I may uh, expand the days that I go on, but I do do my posts for uh, my flash sales and pop-ups. And so those will always be random. I'm using TikTok and I use Twitter um, as other platforms to show my merchandise. So please feel free to like, 
comment, and follow Brianna Bling Jewels. We would be so honored to have you. And if you're interested in becoming a VIP, um, that would even be even better. So our VIP is a, a group of beautiful fashionistas that love to get the latest on the different products that come out. And I notify them via some wall drops. Wall drop is just that there's pictures that are being shown and you actually see um, items that will be coming out before the masses do. And so I, that exclusive group of fashionistas get a, a taste of what the, you know, earrings, bracelets, different color schematics, on uh, some TikTok, TikTok um, reviews will be in that VIP. And then I come on live like I'm doing tonight. And then once I've taken pre-orders of people who have uh, requested different um, items that they like within that VIP, then I present it to the uh, public, which I'm doing here. So it's somewhat like the same. It's like a messenger party, but it's an exclusive group of fashionistas that love jewelry and like to be on the on the cusp of finding out when things are going to come out prior to me doing my live. So that's a little bit about Brand of Bling Jewels. We're here to serve, um, to make you feel fabulous, to make you feel, you know, like you're just chic. And, you know, whenever you step inside a room, you just light up the room with your beautiful bling. And so that's what we are with Brianna Bling Jewels. So I'm going to start out. I have a couple of pieces. They range from bracelets to, um, I think I may have one ring I'll show. But the rest would be bracelets and earrings. And this would be the Anita Special. Let me make sure that my YouTube can see it. It's this beautiful gold has a thicker band, it's golden bling, and you got your bling there, got your entwine of your gold in the picture there, if you can see it. Okay, this is the Anita Special. So if you love it, gotta have it. Let me get that out of the way. Let us know. You too, if you can't see a clear shot, Oh, I do apologize. But that's as close as I can get for you. Okay, so that is the Anita special. Okay. Again, it's a thicker band. Okay. So that is the Anita special. Now, what I'm going to do, and I'm going to try to do this every opportunity that I have. And let's see here. I just fell in love with this necklace. And I'm going to try to pair it with this beautiful. Yeah, here it is. I'm going to try to pair it with this beautiful tunic just so you can get an idea. And if I had a larger wall where I could actually kind of, you know, stand up, I, I would do it that way. Um, but. I'm gonna speak that into existence, okay? So right now I'm just gonna show you a picture. And these are the March fashion fix that will be going in actually tonight. And so uh, I'm coming on and prayerfully that someone will see this um, live and they will inquire about this beautiful set. So if you can see it, she has on this beautiful longer necklace, has a beautiful cream, stone in the middle it says here it's called the pendant is a necklace of a rural regeneration feature a stack of white stone discs towering inside a gold frame adding length by drawing the eye up so as you can see and i'll show a closer picture those are the stones it's a longer chain and you can also double it but because i have on a tunic um and i have this here it's kind of Hard for you to actually get the whole gist. I just kind of want to show you a picture. That's what that looks like. And let me let you see a closer shot of the actual. I just fell in love with it because it has a beautiful earring and a beautiful. It's a nice neutral. And I think because I'm wearing this shade of burgundy, I, I just think it would go perfect. So this is the actual bracelet. Okay. It is a stretchy band. Okay. 
has a beautiful motif there. You still got your your cream stones. You got gold spacers in there. So you've got a gold stretchy. You got one that has gold and the white beads with that beautiful hammer accent. And then you just got one that's got all white beading. Again, that is a stretchy band. Okay. This would be $5. Or if you want all four pieces, that would be a $20 set. So that's that beautiful. And I would put it on, but I, I won't I won't do that. Now, last time I was actually really going to go somewhere. But I always just like to use these are just um demos for us to actually show what they look like. Then the beautiful necklace. This is what I really like. So tonight at midnight or 11.59, we can go and try to uh, access these beautiful pieces. And this is one I would I would most definitely try to access. Here are the beautiful earrings. There's your two-inch extender. And then, bam, there is the necklace, if you can see. Right there, if you can see it. You can see that, that knife, that's pretty. But look at the beading, look how they did the beading. It's a chain and then there's like a bead, there's chain and there's a bead. Isn't that pretty? It's a beautiful. Beautiful. You can see it like that. Beautiful. There's the gold in the back. Nice necklace. Beautiful. There we go. All right. So this will be available at 11.59 as well. So I most likely, if um, if there's anyone that watches the um, replay, uh, I hope they do it before 11.59 because I will be placing uh, most likely another order. I'll keep one probably for myself and then maybe give, you know, gift one for someone's birthday or um you know, just because, you know, as a business owner, you can do that. If you are at a party and you uh, see someone and you want them to try, maybe they never tried paparazzi, this would be an excellent uh, intro um, to let them try it and feel what the what the product feels like and how you can really complement it with your wardrobe. And here are the earrings. The earrings are so cute. Oh, my goodness. Very, very cute. Got your beading, and then you got the gold, like dangly, has a lot of movement. It is on a gold fisher backing. Very cute. Not heavy at all either, but nice pair. So you got your cream, you can wear denim, you can wear black, you can wear brown, you can wear mocha, uh, red. <laughs> So nice. Okay. Okay. Let me see if I can my note. I do apologize. These notifications are um starting to bother me. I, I do apologize. I do apologize. So that's what that set right there. So these come out every uh, first of the month. Um, they, they vary in their design and their uh, the metals. Uh, this one just happened to have that like that white and that gold. But I just think it's in this because the spring is an excellent, excellent color to try to match anything in your 
in your wardrobe, especially if you like a lot of neutrals. Okay. So I just thought I'd just show that tonight. The other item that I think is going to sell, I think I posted this on my page, was this beautiful necklace. So like a, a they're calling it basil and like a, uh, what's it called? Let me just read it. It says the necklace is aquatic garden makes a statement with the industrial like framework assembled into a trio of mechanical flowers, white shell and metal petals fan out from graded frames surrounding a milky acrylic center and the earthy panatone of basil. So, and she's got, again, see the color she had, that, that off-white. And I think the pants are like a soft pink. So, and this is the glimpse of Malibu. So as you can tell, each one of the uh, trendsetters has a different thematic um, thing behind them. And so I will be placing those orders tonight for anyone that um, has an interest for any of those. But let's get into, I actually, the Brianna, um, the show, the Brianna Bling show. So let's get started. I'm going to start off with these beautiful, these beautiful earrings. I apologize. Oh God. This is just a busy night, isn't it? Oh my goodness. All right. Uh, let me do something real quick here. I do apologize. Um, let's see here. I don't know how to go back. Okay. These beautiful earrings. These are going to be the Anita special. They're yellow full leather with that brown wooden. And you got your full yellow. They're on a yellow fish of back, backing, a silver fish of backing. And these are the new special. Okay. I need a special. Very lightweight. Very lightweight. Okay. And I do have several leaves in inventory, so if you love it, gotta have it. Let, let me know. The next pair of earrings, these are called Rainbow Remedy. There's a CB, they're more of a post bag. Get your beautiful CB, you've got like that's red. Like bling, there's turquoise and there's red and it's a yellow. And we'll give this one a number. We'll give this one a number. Let's say number 40. Number 40. Very pretty. So if you got anything with those colors in your top or one solid color would be perfect. And then if you really want to pull one of these colors out, we could find a beautiful necklace to do that. I would say that turquoise stands out. And so does that, like that red and that orange would really pull it. So that's bling 40. You can see it. Okay. And this is called Rainbow Remedy. Bag here. And tonight we have a set. So we have this beautiful, for those who love acrylic, we have this beautiful acrylic bangle. Do we have multiples of these? It's acrylic bangle. And what we did, we paired this with a beautiful. They're on a silver fish shake back. We paired it with this. 
beautiful geometric shape earrings that goes with the bangle. Okay, let's give this a number. We'll give it a number 12. We'll give it a number 12. Number 12. Okay. All right. So that's number 12. You know, some people do like acrylic. So we are, you know, here to aim any customer's desire and their preference. So that's what it's basically about. You know, certain people like gold. I think that was a question that I put on my page. You know, who likes gold? And some people, all they do is wear uh, copper. You know, it's, it's up to your preference. So we aim to please. Let's look at another pair. At this beautiful, lovely. These are called Royal Hustle. And we're going to put this in bling. Thirty-seven. That's bling thirty-seven. This is beautiful. Here they look like royalty. And I have tons of necklaces that would be perfect with these. Um, Earrings. They're on a silver bishop backing. Beautiful. Has a, has a little weight. Not very heavy, but very elegant. Very elegant. So I have multiples of these. Bling 37. Bling 37. Bling 37. And again, this is called Royal Hustle. Well, you know, I'm going to get the cognitive of my time. I do apologize. I don't know the notifications. I'm going to have to correct that. I do apologize. Uh, let's see what else do I have in my little goodie bag. I have a bracelet called Grandeur to a White Bracelet. Very pretty. It's got pearls. I can almost go with that um, pair of earrings. You got these beautiful beading in a beautiful rhinestone ball. You got your pearls. You got your silver chain. And you got your two inch extender. Okay. YouTube, I'm not sure if you can get a good one. I'm trying to stand still so you can actually see. How you doing there, sir? Slinging my bling. How you doing? I hope all is well with you. I'm just slinging my little bling here. If I knew you were going to be on, I would have had something for me. And I, I didn't. I thought you would be at a scholar convention. I didn't know you would be perusing Instagram. But I'm glad to see you, sir. I pray all is well. You staying safe. I know you've been going through a lot of things. I um, you know, can't wait to come down and visit you and Coco and you know, and give you guys a big hug and, you know, just encourage you. If you gave a good word, that, oh, I'm glad you're doing well, sir. You was, you was, you was preaching up a storm now. I don't, I don't know how I could handle it. I had to have somebody fan me for a minute, but I was hanging in there though. And you had it together though. I just wish I was in the audience. I really do. I would have been doing one of these. No, I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that. I wouldn't have done that to you. I better be more dignified than if I would have done that to you. Okay, our next one. It's good to see you, though, sir. Good to see you. Um, this is Bling 51. Let me know if you have another message, though, because, you know, I, I might want to do a day trip and come down there. Okay, so put me on your little agenda as a guest. Um, but this is Bling 51. This beautiful green, is, they're calling this uh, Palm Breeze Green. This is bling 51. Got your beautiful green in the middle there. You got your silver fish hook backing. And then you've got your beading here. They're um, kind of a medium weight. They're not very heavy. Not very heavy. Okay, that's bling 51. 
Now, don't forget that we said we was gonna do the um the book. I've been I've been waiting to get that from um I think Amazon. I think I was trying to get it so we can use this platform. There, there's no excuse, you know. I, I as a communication man uh major at Clark Atlanta University, I don't have a problem with going from a camera. I mean, I I can give you a list of stuff to interview. So we we got to do that. So I I'm looking forward to that and um. You know, doing an intellectual conversation, you know, having that discussion, you know, you know, we, we need that right now. We definitely need that with so much going on. So keep me in your, you know, in your back thoughts that we still want to do that. I, I haven't forgot that. I definitely haven't forgot that. Um, so good to see you though. Um, the next earring that I'm going to show are these beautiful pink, they're called photo finish pink. Okay, all right. You said yes, indeed. Now you know I'm game. Okay, don't and don't please don't put Coco as a little, you know, sidebar. I'm telling you, I'm game. We, 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 we have too much to share, you know, for all the knowledge that we've gained from Parkland University. We, we gotta do them proud. And I'm just so full right now. I just I gotta release everything that you any book you give me, you know, with my analytical thinking. I we just gotta get it out. So please, I I'm, I'm serious. So I, I brought it to you, but you know things happen, you know, my mom is sick right now. And so, you know, I'm trying to, you know, be a caregiver, but you know, that's always been on my uh, back burner to always do that. And I'm so glad you're here. That I can at least express that to you publicly that I really want to do that. So, uh, you know, if it was uh, okay, Facebook and YouTube, if it wasn't for this young man, uh, I just got to tell this little testimony. So this is my show. Uh, I met Jeff at Clark Atlanta university. Oh, back maybe 19. Let's see. I'm with the Clark about 19. When they bombed um, the world, so 2001, maybe maybe ish, maybe 2002. Jeff could probably put it in there. But when I met him, we stayed at Pasco's uh, historical Pasco Pas Pas. Oh, help me, Jeff. Pasco restaurant. And so um, he was a graduate student, and I was just undergrad, but I was what they call a resident assistant. And so he was my neighbor. And so um, I didn't know him at the time, you know. He was just a student, you know, just next door neighbor. Yeah, okay, too. Thank you. See, I see, see how historical he is. It's so fast, y'all. See, that's what I'm talking about. So he was my neighbor. And so um I was because I'm a writer and I, I have to have quiet. And I was just in a mode of writing this like 15-page paper for because I, I was a uh photojournalist for the Panther. And so I was in a thought, a deep thought, and I heard him over there screaming. And he was, and then he said, "Dog, go ahead and stop that." And, and he was making all this. I'm like, "What is this man?" And so I think I threw a shoe at the wall. So I said, "Well, maybe that'll hush him down." Oh, I didn't know was it was he at the time. I said, "Well, I did because it's his voice." And so, uh, but I, I don't remember seeing him, you know, coming and going. And so, okay, he stopped for a minute. And so I was trying to get back in deep thought because I had this little computer. And then he, "Dog, go ahead." I told you, no. And then he was he kept talking. I was like, well, "Didn't I just?" So. I, I, I bammed on the wall. I said, why is he? I, I, look, I don't want to write this man up or the student up, but now look, he going to get three tries with me and that's it. So he got quiet. Okay. So, okay. I said, I'm going to get back to this paper because I'm like, my mind is trying to, I'm, I'm trying to focus. So he did it again. I said, you know what? This ain't making no sense. I went to his door. I said, boom, 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 boom. So he said, oh, uh, uh, yes. I said, look, did I just, did you hear me? I, 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 went, I went off. I, I did, y'all. Because I was like, I was really irritated at that point. You know, I gave you three try, two tries at least, and you didn't respond. So then I said, what you in there doing? And then he looked at me, and I was like, what you doing? I said, I'm the RA. I'm your RA on this floor. And he said, oh, um, I'm in here watching. I think he's watching a game. I said, well, can't you be quiet and watch the game? Do you have to scream? Don't you know people trying to study? And then he said, oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I said, yeah, yeah, you need to be sorry. I said, okay. I said, now you do it again, I'm gonna write you up. I'm gonna tell the, the you know, the big head man. So he, he didn't do it. But he was quiet about it. Now he was you know, making a little noise, but he was quiet about it. So then somehow we passed and, you know, through, you know, campus is not that big. So I said, ain't you the resident that's staying next to me? He said, yeah. I said, what, what, what are you doing that noise? And so when he opened like himself, you know, when we started talking, he was just so intellectual. He just, I mean, I saw all these books and see, I'm a sucker for books. Okay, I'm just going to. I love jewelry too, but I love books. He had all these books because he's a literary, you know, his master's was in that degree. I'm sure you can type that down for me too because I'm probably going to mess that up. But, you know, his master's was in literary thought or um, help me out, Jeff, what, what was literary? But put, put, put your master's. So, but, but his degree was in that. So he did a lot of reading. 
And so when I just saw these books and he told me, he said, well, uh, I have to read a lot and, you know, I go to the library and, you know, such and such and such. And so when he told me all about his history, about, you know, him going to pain college and about how, you know, he met this person and he could just tell me about so many authors and just, he, it, it just blew my mind. And especially coming from Ohio and not seeing African-American male. Oh, English. Okay. There you go. English. You know, I, you know, I had never saw that. And so I, you know, I said, well, can I eat lunch with you, you know, or just, you know, come in your room, you know, just, you know, just look at the books at least. And he was just so open and he would just share all about these authors and he would be so in depth. I mean, we're not talking about those surface stuff. We talking about really like a deep thinker. And so, you know, I just, I just give my kudos out to him. I'm just so proud of him. Um, he got me hooked on the C-SPAN if it hadn't been for him. He got me hooked on to just going to different um, book fairs and just, you know, introducing myself to different authors of different uh, genres of, of, um, of literary, you know, thought, because, you know, you get so stuck on one, but there's so many thoughts out there because people are writing, you know, from research or whatever. And so I, I commend you, sir. So I thank you so much for coming on. We, we definitely, so you got me all fired up because I forgot about the jury now and I'm talking about, you know, academia, but I, I just love that he just, he's so knowledgeable. And I just think that when we come together with this um, slash type of book thought, you know, not like a book TV type of thing, but it would be on Facebook that we can just share different thoughts about how authors talk about different things and just try to, you know, encapsulate, you know, the younger people who think everything is social media and they don't want to read a book. You know, I was raised on, you know, a book. And so, sir, my kudos go to you. My hat goes out to you for all that you're doing. I'm just so proud of you and how God's taking you to the ministry. And I was just so impressed by your message and how it was so methodical on how you, your, your preparation was totally there. That, that's all I can say. It, it was, it was a, a, a eye opening catcher for me to really absorb and to really respond to. So it made me think a lot and to respond to my actions. So thank you so much, sir. All right. So I didn't mean to get on a tangent because, you know, me and Jeff, we can just keep dialoguing back and forth. But we are going to do that, though. OK, you 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 said that and you put it in the sphere. So um, I got to select that book off of Amazon. And then once I have completed, you know, oh, so, so I haven't done anything. What? Come back to Ohio? Really? Mama? Really? Ohio? I should be an ATL. I should be a CNN. OK, that's where I was headed. OK, family, my dad got sick. I had to come back you know that's caregiver that's priority but you know but i thank you but i was supposed to be a cnn with don lemons okay that's what i'm talking about if it wasn't but his assistant just saying that was my goal working for a cnn or just traveling but you know but i do thank god that i you know i'm doing what i'm doing i i can't really complain um this journey and selling this jury has been a blessing um you know it, our, our paths go different ways for for the reason God sees fit. So I can't question that. But <laughs> Eddie, mama! I didn't mean to do it. That was our favorite show, too. I didn't even get to that, Jeff, because I, I I would have a show. I would really have a show. Oh my God. Anybody needs to watch that movie. It's a wonderful life. Oh my God. It's tearjerker. That again, that's another get into a real in depth because there's some little undertones in that movie, too. Not Jeff, you know, but we, we're not gonna go there. But we are gonna have to come together just just to do it well you know what are you busy right now I'm, I'm gonna see if i can add you on i don't know if i can because you are on let me see and then you know what i could sling my bling i, I want to just give these wait let me see if i can invite you i don't know if you can make it okay can you accept i don't know if you can or not let's see i don't know if you can or not oh yeah here he is okay youtube there he is oh my god instagram there he is Okay, I'm so sorry, YouTube. I'm gonna have to end this. Um, I'll have to preempt this on another day. All right, Jeffy, what's going on? Oh my God, what's going on, How sir? Are you? I'm doing fine. Oh my God, you are just moving and shaking. I just see you everywhere. You just, you're too important yeah. for me. You, 